Now let's take a look at managing database level permissions. Very similar to server level permissions except that on the entire server I want to do it just on a database. Notice my sales database here. Well let me show you to try to make these things connect. If you remember in another video we applied permissions to Frank on the uh, server level. This time I want to apply permissions to Frank on a database level, on the sales database level. So what I'll do here is go to the database level and notice I will right click on the database sales and go to properties and then I'll go to permissions because I'm setting permissions on this particular database. And notice there's Frank and so now I can determine what permissions I want to give Frank and notice what we've got here. We've got quite a few. I can let Frank, let me, I can pull this over so I can see it. Notice one thing I like and I meant to show you this on all these, all these dialog boxes that, that pop up. Microsoft has given us the ability to resize these things so that we can see them now. Okay, so you can move these things around at will. Notice we'll say that um, he can alter a certificate. He can alter any role in this database. He can alter the database itself. He can uh, back up the database. He can create certificates for the database. It just kind of goes on and on. He can insert or select from anything in the database. Now keep in mind these are explicit permissions for Frank for the entire database and I click OK and there you go. Now if I right click and go back to properties and go to permissions you'll see Frank and if I click effective permissions here I'll see the various things that Frank can do. And it's because Frank's uh, on the securable sales and this can have to do with some other permissions that he has in other places. Great tool to have to see effective permissions. But that's how we apply permissions to the database level. We simply come out here and right click on the database level, go to properties and choose our permissions. So there's lots of ways to apply permissions here. Lots of ways to make them fall across a large number of objects without having to go to every individual object and tick them off one at a time.